Hello dears, welcome to Carmeli Kasargod. In this video, we are going to discuss the unit test of standard for unit 2, the leaf 2 has to say. Ilakki mundu parayan, inna paadathinde unit test aana nammal ee video il sarcha zeyinnadu. Let's go to the first question. Answer in one word. Which part of the germinating seed becomes the stem of the plant? One seed germinate zeyinna samayitha. Eighth part is the stem item. The stem part is the Yes, plumule. The plumule grows into the stem. Stem item is the plumule. Radical is the plumule. Radical later grows into root. And plumule later grows into stem. So, it is the plumule that grew into the stem. Moving on to the next question. Where the food is stored for the germination of the seed? One seed germinate jayumbo. Adhi na avashim aitilla food. Every day anu sambhari ke padundu. Store jaya padundu. Then nani shodhikinudu. Kutayar karayam. Our plants have the ability to make food. Allai photosynthesis nengak kate it inda. Apo bakshana undaka anila kariva. Plants in under. Bakshe, or a kuni plant in a other nila shashi no. Ila. Apa with the mulakin the samet, a with the mulachu varanula, a very shakti. Kitana ingla than a food the kudia thiru. Apa then a venti tiller food. Store say the vecana, or a part and a part and a pair and a shoshikana. What is that part? Yes. Cotyledon. Beja patra. The thick leaf like part seen in the plumule of the germinating. Seed is the cotyledon. The food required for a seed to germinate is stored in the cotyledons. One cutilla, illa vole irikina, one partana. Adina parana perana, cotyledon, alangal beja patram. You can see the picture here. Now let's go to the third question. Name the root system of given plants. Pea plant, mutanga plant. Which are the root systems present in these plants? Pyre Zedilum, Mutanga Zedilum, Kana Pedina, Vere Padalanga, Edukayana. Dear friends, can you see the answers? Yes, in pea plant we can see tap root system, and in Mutanga plant we can see fibrous root system. What is tap root system? Tap root system consists of the larger tap root and smaller branches growing from it. Tap root system, alangi thai veri padalam in varnala, there is a main root called tap root. Or thai That tap root starts from base of the stem. Any small branch roots are starting from this tap root. Okay. Tap root is main, long, and thick one. And small branch roots are coming from. This tap root. Then what about fibrous root system? Nari veri padalam. The fibrous root system includes a cluster of similar roots growing from the base of the stem. All roots are starting from base of the stem. Okay. All roots are similar. All roots are thin. This is called a fibrous root system. Nari veri padalam. Moving on to the next question, fourth question. The network like V nation in leaves is called what? Okay, network like V nation. V nation, we know arrangement of veins in leaves is called V nation. We already studied two types of V nation. First one, reticulate V nation. Second one, parallel V nation. Okay, network like V nation, edana. Network pole, Valakandigal polyula V nation, Edan, Sira Vinyasam. Yes, you already know the answer. You have seen this in textbook. Can you recall this picture? Network like V nation, that is called reticulate V nation. Network like V nation in leaves is called reticulate V nation. And what about parallel V nation? Parallel arrangement of veins in leaves is called parallel. V nation. Now we are going to the fifth question. Plants having 
two cotyledons are called we already discussed what is a cotyledon cotyledon is a part seen in a germinating seed which helps to store food for the seed we already discussed that and which are the two types of cotyledons here you can see the question plants having two cotyledons is called a, yes you know the answer dicotyledonous plants we can simply call it as dicots rendu cotyledon ulla plants inde nammal dicots ennu vilikkum alle then what about plants having only one cotyledon they are called monocots now sixth question which root system grows more deeply edu veeru padalana ottiri aalathilekku manninde koodal aalathilekku veerugal orappikkunathu edana ningalku chitram thanne kanda manasilavum text book il chitram ningalku orme undavu oru marathinte ullil nokike yes so the answer is tap root system the tap root system grows more deeply hence these roots hold the plants firmly in the soil oru vaada aalathilekku adinte veeru povunnathu kondu idinte root allengi idinte plants uproot cheyanum it's very difficult pilu edukkanum buddhimuttaanu next question is a match the following question tetaya jodigal aanu ivide thannittullathu ende eyanam ningale sheri aakki eludana avade thannirikkunathu vaaikkam radical monocotyledonous plumule dicotyledonous cashew nut root and coconut stem everything given here is wrong you have to make it correct okay avade thannirikkunathu kanda thanne ningalku manasilavum radical you have already studied radical later grows into root appo root apparathund adanu adinde correct aayittulla jodi then what about plumule in the same way plumule grows into stem so plumule and stem then what about cashew nut you have studied that cashew nut has only two cotyledons so it's a dicotyledonous plant then you know about coconut tree coconut tree is a monocotyledonous plant it has only one cotyledon so you got all the answers radical root plumule stem cashew nut dicotyledonous coconut monocotyledonous adutha chodyam answer the following the cotyledons shrink and decrease in size when the young plant grows why seed germinate cheythu cheriya oru chedi undagumbol endu sambhavikkum cotyledon shrink cheyum enna chenda churingi povu ennittu endu sambhavikkum adinte size decrease cheyum adinte valippam കുറഞ്ഞ് 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 വന്ന് അവസാനം ആ കോട്ടിലിടൻ പൂർണ്ണമായും ഇല്ലാതെയാവും എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഇങ്ങനെ സംഭവിക്കുന്നത് എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണെന്ന് ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്കിൽ കൃത്യമായിട്ട് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്ത് പറയുന്നുണ്ട് സി വി ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി സ്റ്റഡീഡ് ഫുഡ് റിക്വയർഡ് ഫോർ എ സീഡ് ടു ജേമിനേറ്റ് ഈസ് സ്റ്റോർഡ് ഇൻ ദ കോട്ടിലിഡൻസ് ഒരു വിത്ത് മുളയ്ക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ള ഫുഡ് സ്റ്റോർ ചെയ്യുന്ന സ്ഥലമാണ് കോട്ടിലിടൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ദ പ്ലാന്റ് ഗ്രോസ് യൂസിങ് ദ ഫുഡ് ഇൻ ദ കോട്ടിലിഡൻസ് ടിൽ ഇറ്റ് പ്രിപ്പയർസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൺ ഫുഡ് ആ ചെടിക്ക് സ്വന്തമായിട്ട് ഫുഡ് പ്രിപ്പയർ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ആ ഒരു സമയം വരെ എന്താണ് ഈ കോട്ടിലിടനിൽ നിന്നാണ് ഇതിനാവശ്യമായിട്ടുള്ള എല്ലാ ഫുഡും ലഭിക്കുന്നത് ഇനിയാണ് നമ്മുടെ ആൻസർ വരുന്നത് ദ പ്ലാന്റ് യൂസസ് ദ ഫുഡ് ഇൻ ദ കോട്ടിലിഡൻസ് പ്ലാന്റ് എന്ത് ചെയ്യും കോട്ടിലിടനിലുള്ള ഫുഡൊക്കെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യും എന്നിട്ടോ തന്നെ ഫുഡ് ഉണ്ടാക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ആ ഒരു പ്രായമാകുമ്പോഴത്തേക്കും കോട്ടിലിഡൻസ് തന്നെ ചുരുങ്ങും എന്നിട്ട് അതിൻ്റെ സൈസ് ഡിക്രീസ് ചെയ്യും അല്ലേ അങ്ങനെ ആ കോട്ടിലിടൻ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആയിട്ടും നശിക്കും പിന്നെ ആരാണ് ഫുഡ് ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നത് പ്ലാന്റ്സ് പ്രിപ്പയർ ഫുഡ് ഫോർ ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് സോ ദ കോട്ടിലിഡൻസ് ഷ്രിങ്ക് ആൻഡ് ഡിക്രീസ് ഇൻ സൈസ് ആസ് ദ പ്ലാന്റ് ഗ്രോസ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഫൈബ്രസ് റൂട്ട് സിസ്റ്റം നെയിം ടു പ്ലാന്റ്സ് വിത്ത് ഫൈബ്രസ് റൂട്ട് സിസ്റ്റം നാല് പേര് പടലം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താണ് നാല് പേര് പടലം ഉള്ള ഏതെങ്കിലും രണ്ട് പ്ലാന്റ്സിൻ്റെ പേര് എഴുതുക so let's answer first question what is fibrous root system we already said fibrous root system includes a cluster of similar roots growing from the base of the stem like right? from the base of the stem 
many roots are coming all roots are similar all roots are thin it's a cluster or a group a group of roots all roots and and plants having fibrous root system are given here are canet, onion sugar cane bamboo coconut tree grass muttanga dokke endana naru veri padalamulla plants aanu you can write any two plants grass bamboo palm tree are canet, date palm coconut tree turmeric manjal banana ginger adha inji dokke endana naru veri padalamulla plants aanu here is a table showing the plants having taproot system and fibrous root system. Taproot system is plants like teak, mango, jack tree, banyan tree, hibiscus, tamarind, rose plant, pea plant, tulasi. This is the taproot system of plants. This is the same plants. Let's write the differences between taproot system and the fibrous root system. This is the same plants. This is the same plants. Let's look on to the differences. Taproot system. Taproot system is the There is a taproot. But in fibrous root system, there is no taproot. That is a difference. In taproot system. Taproot is growing from the stem. Taproot is growing from the base of the stem. Okay. There are some other small branch roots. That is the they are not starting from base of the stem. They are starting from the tap root. Okay. But in fibrous root system, a cluster of similar roots growing from the stem. All roots are starting from the base of the stem. Fibrous root system. And also all roots are similar. But in tap root system, tap root is long, thick. Small branch roots are very thin and short but in fibrous root system all roots are similar and thin in tap root system small roots grow from tap root they are different in size but smaller than tap root okay is the difference Anna. this is the difference now next difference they grow more deeply in the soil hence these roots hold the plants firmly in the soil. The roots are the tap root system of plants in the roots grow deep into the soil. But for the fibrous root system, plants having fibrous root system, their roots do not grow very deep into the soil. They hold several soil particles together and thus prevent soil erosion. But soil erosion is Fibrous root system. Fibrous root system ulla plants are. Now last difference. Tap root system. Plants having tap root system are not easily uprootable. Okay, we can't easily uproot these plants. But plants having fibrous root system, these plants are easier to uproot than tap root plants. Some keys here to pull that. Pull. Like pull. Like we can do it. We can do it. We can because the pulli is a fibrous root system and the mavi is a tap root system. Next question. Appu observed some plants from the premise of his home and it's given in the box. Appu is a tap root system. He is a guava, tulasi, brinjal plant, plantain, grass, coconut tree. Classify the plants on the basis of root system and venation. Very padalat neum, adabole, veins enganyana arrange the kana, venation enganyana. It is a random name basis la, in the anum, plants in a categorize yana, rend group aki matana. Then karya, tap root system, fibrous root system. Then reticulate venation, parallel venation. Ulla plants, edu kiana, categorize yana and one more sub question is there. Draw the picture of taproot system of plant and a leaf with the parallel venation. Taproot system is a plant in the parallel venation is a leaf in the picture. Okay, so we will the plants in the picture. Taproot system, reticulate venation of plants. That is fibrous root system, parallel venation of plants.
plants which are the plants having tap root system and reticulate venation yes guava tulasi brinjal plant then what about fibrous root system and parallel venation which are the plants plantain grass coconut tree now look at this picture you have to draw a plant having tap root system thai veri padalulla oru plant adu pole parallel venation kaanikkuna oru leaf now look at the last and final question arrange the concepts given below and make a concept map tamarind reticulate venation plants monocots tap root system dicots bamboo fibrous root system parallel venation jackfruit tree arecanid palm banyan tree in this chapter you already went through all these concepts now what you have to do is to arrange these concepts in a certain order okay look here see plants we can divide them into two groups plants having one cotyledon which is called as monocots plants having two cotyledons which is called as dicots and all monocots have fibrous root system and they have parallel venation and which are the examples for monocots or plants having fibrous root system or plants having parallel venation yes rice coconut tree bamboo palm arecanid these are all examples for these type of plants next category is dicots all dicots have tap root system and they have a reticulate venation and which are the examples for these type of plants mango tree brinjal tamarind banyan tree jackfruit tree so likewise we can arrange this concept in a certain manner so this is called a concept map so this is the end of our video subscribe for more unit test please like and share this video and subscribe our channel thank you for watching